Uh, hey, what's going on, you beautiful people, and welcome back to this video. So, today, I have made some Undertale Pokemon cards that I want to show you guys. So, first off, before I get into this, if you're wondering what kind of app I use to make these Pokemon cards, or aka Undermon cards, as I like to call them, I used an app called Card Maker for Pokemon, but in the app name, it doesn't say Pokemon, it says PKM, which kind of sounds like an earthbound move, to be honest. What? Okay, the first card I have for you guys is everyone's favorite, or least favorite, Flower Flowey. So, I found this cool picture. By the way, just so you know, none of these pictures belong to me. If if the people who made the pictures in this video are watching, then they're all amazing pictures. You did a great job. Please don't please don't copyright claim me. I just wanted some pictures for my cards. Anyways, Flowey. So, he's number 1 because he's the first monster you meet in the game. He's the evil flower monster. I decided to call them just monsters instead of Pokemon, because I didn't think that made sense. Then his height. I don't really know how much they weigh or how tall any of them are, so I just guessed. And I said he's one one foot seven inches, and he is three point one pounds. He's pretty light, but he is a flower. So yeah. And for his moves. He has Bullet Seed, which does 70 damage, and it takes two Grass Energy and one Colorless Energy. And the description is, if the poke, if the opponent's Pokemon is immobilized, this attack does 30 more damage. And what it means by immobilized is if they're paralyzed or whatever, um, if they can't move. Um... And he has 90 HP. I forgot to say that. And he's a grass type. And he's also basic. Then Vine Trap does 20 damage. And it takes one grass energy. Flip a coin. If heads, the opponent's Pokemon can't attack next turn. And they're immobilized. So use that. So use that move. And then you use Bullet Seed. And it does 30 more damage. So yeah. I like this card. This is one of the first ones I made. And yeah, hope you like it. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next one that I have got is actually what Flowey evolves into. We have Omega Flowey. So he has 350 HP. He's a stage one. And he's another grass type. So... He's number 1,000. He's the Photoshop monster, because if you did not know, F Omega Flowey is actually not made up of sprites. He is made up of Photoshopped images. Um, and his height, 21, 21 feet, 7 inches, pretty tall. His weight, 2,873.1 pounds. In his ability, save and load. Use this move to make a save state. Then use the move again to revert the battle back to that point. Can only be used once. And by the way, when it says revert the battle back to that point, everything, and I mean everything, gets brought back to the state it was when the save state was made. And I mean everything. And then, for his attack, we have Bullet Hell. Does 200 damage, takes 3 Grass Energies, and 1 Steel Energy. You flip a coin. If it's heads, you use the move again. And then you repeat the process until you get tails. You use the move. You flip a coin. It's heads. You use the move again. You flip another coin. It's heads. You use it again. And you keep using it and using it and using it until you drain out your opponent's entire team. 
This is by far probably the most powerful card I have made. Period. Except for possibly just maybe one. You might know who that is. And and we might as well go to him. Okay, you might have guessed who this one is. It's everyone's favorite skeleton, spooky, scary boy, Sans. Only 10 HP, because he only got 1 HP in the game. And most attacks, and almost, and the least amount of damage an attack can do is 10. But, his ability is dodge. You dodge all attacks. But, it can only be used 20 times in a match. Why did I choose 20? Well, because it seemed like a good number. And, in the Sans fight, he dodges, like, in total, the amount of attacks he has to dodge is 26. But I didn't want to choose 26, because that's a bit of a weird number. And I didn't want to choose 25, because that's a little bit too much. So, I chose 20. Then we got Gaster Blaster. 100 damage, 1 Psychic Energy, 2 Dark Energies. The opponent's Pokemon is now Poison. Why are they poisoned? Because, in the game, he uses a little bit of something called Karmic Retribution, which does poison damage to you. So, yeah. And his weakness is Steel. His resistance is fire. Why Why is his resistance fire? Well, he's a skeleton. He can't be burned. And why is his weakness steel? Well, if you've played the genocide route, then I think you'll know where I'm going with that one. And, yeah, I also forgot to mention, he is a basic and he is a psychic type. And his description is, he's always incredibly lazy, but can be super powerful at times. Yeah, that's definitely true. And he is number three, because he's the third monster you meet in the game. He's the judgment monster. I'm not going to spoil that one um, for you. Just when you get to the end of the game, you'll, you'll know what I mean. I'm just, I'm assuming that you guys have played Undertale if you're watching this. If you haven't played Undertale, um, then, yeah, go play it. In his height, 4 feet, 6 inches. He's pretty short. His weight, 30, 35 pounds. Yeah, I think we're ready to move on to the next one. Okay, the third card I have for you guys is is Sans's beloved brother, Papyrus. The great Papyrus. He has 90 HP. He's a normal type or colorless. And he is number four, because he's the fourth monster you meet in the game. He's the puzzle monster. He is seven feet tall, because he is pretty tall. He is 100 and in 37 pounds because he's a lot heavier than sands and he is a basic then for his attacks you got bone two colorless energies and 50 damage pretty basic and then you got blue attack three colorless energies and one psychic the opponent's pokemon cannot attack next turn so he's using like turns your soul blue Holds you down on the ground. Yeah. Pretty pretty decent attack. His weakness is fighting. Because he's not the best fighter. I mean, he's the great Papyrus. But he can't beat someone like Undyne. Fishy, fishy person. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really. Okay, the next card I have for you guys is everyone's favorite fish girl. Undyne, 150 HP, a water type, number 6, because I think she's the 6th major monster that you meet in the game. She's the night monster, oh my 
god, something just exploded outside my house. It, Undyne did this. It's, it's Undyne. She loves explosions. She made something explode outside my house. Anyway, she's the night monster, because if you didn't know, she's the head of the royal guard. Um, she is six feet tall, because she's pretty tall. Not as tall as Papyrus, but still pretty tall. And her attacks, Spear of Justice. That is also the name of her song in the game. Yeah, Spear of Justice. 50 damage, 1 steel energy, 1 water energy. And green attack. 3 water energy and 1 steel energy. Flip a coin. If heads, the opponent's Pokemon can't attack next turn. Because she slashes you with her spear and keeps you in place. And her description is, she will never run away from a fight, even if she dies trying. That is definitely true. And her retreat cost is five, is five colorless energies. Now, I made it so expensive because, now, for all the characters that, that will never run away from a fight, I gave them a large retreat cost. That's why Flowey had a very low retreat cost, because he runs away, like, a lot. But Undyne, she never runs away. You run away from her. So, yeah, she is a very expensive retreat cost. And she's also a basic. Anyway, let's move on to the next card. Okay, I think this is going to be the second to last card that I will show you guys. We have got everyone's favorite goat mother, Toriel. She's actually the first evolved card on this list. She's a stage one. She evolves from Azriel. Um, she has 200 HP. She's a fire type. She's number 100. I was thinking about making her number two, but I don't really like that number anymore. Anyway, I made her number 100. Um... She's the Goat Mom monster. And for her attacks, she has Butterscotch Pie. Four colorless energies. Heal all damage from Toriel. If the opponent's if the opponent is a Frisk card, heal all damage from them too. I actually do not have a Frisk card. I haven't made that one yet. But if you guys do want me to make a Frisk card, just leave it in the comments and I will. Next attack, fire magic, 70 damage, and two fire energies. Flip a coin. If heads, the opponent's Pokemon is now burned. And then her weakness is steel. Again, you'll know that one if you play genocide. And her resistance is grass, <laughs> because at the beginning of the game, spoilers, she, she saves you from Flowey. She's a very kind and loving, wait, read that wrong. She, she's very kind and loving. She loves to cook food with snails because she makes a snail pie at one point. And her retreat cost is only three colorless energies. So yeah, not too bad. And let's move on to the final card. Okay, the final card I have for you guys is the almighty king of the monsters, Asgore. He's got his trident there. He evolves from Asriel. Little warning down at the bottom. Warning. Asriel can only evolve into Asgore with trident item. Like there I'm gonna I'm gonna make a special item card in the next video. If you want me to make a next if you want me to make another video, I'm gonna make a trident item. And Asriel needs that item to evolve into Asgore. He has 250 HP. Pretty solid. Um, so a fire type. In number 80, he's the, he's the king monster. Uses fire magic. 90 damage. Three fire energies and flip a coin if heads the opponent's Pokemon is now burned. 
Then you got Trident Slash, two Fire Energies, and two Steel Energies. It does 20 damage. You flip four coins. This attack does 60 more damage for each heads. So that can either be a really weak attack or a really strong attack. And his retreat cost is five dragon energies. Now you might know dragon energies aren't a thing. That's the point. Asgore can't run away from a fight. He he literally destroys your mercy button so that you can't spare him so that it has to be a fight to the death. It's impossible for Asgore to retreat. So if you pull out Asgore, he's going to be there until he dies. Or until some other Pokemon uses some sort of move that puts him back in. But anyway, yeah, no one cares. So... So anyway, yeah, that was all the cards. So, um, oh, little bonus for you. Got them hand. Just, you can, you can take a moment to just, like, like, process this one card. Pause the video if you need to. I'll give you a minute. Okay, moving on. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, um, make sure to leave a like. And if you want me to make another video like this, um, I, I will make some more Undertale cards. And I might make some items like the butterscotch pie or the trident item I talked about. Um, leave your suggestions for cards that I should make. I, I'm gonna make a bunch more cards, like Metaton, Monster Kid, Gaster, things like that. I'll make Frisk, Chara, or Kara, if that's how you want to say it. And, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, leave a like, and subscribe to become part of the 101 Boys, and I will see you all next time. Okay, bye.